At this hour, there are still dozens of people inside our state capitol waiting to speak their mind about a bill that would make it tougher for parents to get vaccine exemptions. Denver 7's Addie Guajardo is live from tonight's marathon sa uh, session of the capitol. Addie? Well, Shannon Ann, it's going to be a long night tonight. Parents have kids taking naps in the hallway behind me and playing games just to make sure that they get their voices heard tonight. Now, the committee has listened to more than 12 hours of testimony so far, and they tell me they've ran out of people for the bill. Right now, they're just listening to people against the bill. These children have the right to participate fully in their community. The vaccine bill brought hundreds for or against the bill under one roof. Some waited hours for two minutes of testimony. The bill on the table offers three options to have your child vaccinated or parents can opt out of immunizations. This means they must have an immunization provider sign off on the exemption or they can watch an educational video on vaccines and sign a waiver themselves. The bill aims to increase immunization rates in the state, which has very few laws regulating vaccine exemptions. Improve that vaccination rate so that we can create what's called um, community immunity or protection for other kids who can't get vaccinated. My family was lucky but not everybody and not every family is. Children get sick, they suffer, and they die. And these diseases are real. So it's important that we pass this bill. My decisions were based on facts. Those against the bill call it vague and a government overreach. It's a tracking system. It's pushing personal and medical choices onto someone else. I feel that it's private information and that each family gets to make their own decisions. Plan to listen to everyone's testimony tonight and they want to make a decision by the end of the night or in the early hours of this morning. Reporting live from State Capitol, Addie Guajardo, Denver 7.